Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms Eleven. This is the Mysterious JG, recording the final video of this particular sit-down session. And um, hoping that in this particular sit-down session, we will finish off Ma Tang for good. I don't plan to kill the guy. I've had some joking back and forth about, oh, you know, he is not holding up his end of the blood oath that he took to protect the Emperor. And he is shirked in the face of his duties against Cao Cao, all that stuff. Really, there can only be one ruler of China. If it wasn't going to be me, Ma Tang seems like a pretty stand-up guy. But, uh, you know, we got to take him out. He's an honorable guy. He attacked us in a way that really pissed me off early in the game when we were fighting Zhang Lu over Han Zhong. But now that Liu Bei is the king of Han Zhong, it's, it's kind of time to settle old, time to settle old business. No grudges. It's just that Ma Tang is in the way. We'd be happy to take care of his family. We honor and respect everything they've done. And uh, if they want to serve in the U of A's righteous army to crush the tyrant Cao Cao, we'd be happy to have them. But uh, first, we've got to finish them off as an independent force, once and for all. There are still units that haven't moved. Alright, well, I'm not sure who those would be, but I guess I should find out. Not you. I think I moved all my boats. I'm not sure on this one, folks. I'm not sure who hasn't moved. Oh, it's um, these guys that took out. It's these guys. And, uh... This could be interesting. It's S Spears against S Cavalry should go my way. Would have been nice if I could have knocked them onto... These guys. But I hate you, Zhen, is out in the field. They may come to regret having pulled those troops out of that city. But, um... As tempting as it is to watch the last few battles with Ma Tang... Tsao guys are really putting the pressure on us. I mean, we we came in here and we did a lot of damage. We handed them a, a humiliating defeat here, capturing Zhang Liao, the uh, prefect of Wan, and uh, destroying a bunch of their facilities, destroying their tower, destroying their drum platform. But now they have driven us into full-fledged retreat here. And uh, I might want to check and see how much damage they can do while we're on our way out. Or I might want to watch what's going on here, or you know what, screw it, let's watch Ma Tang. Let's watch Ma Yun Lu and I Hate You Zhen. Ma Tang has the ladies out. He's sending out the women to do his fighting for him in the final battle. Ma Tang. I'm not a sexist, despite some of the jokes that I might make in this Let's Play or other Let's Plays. I might say things in jest, but I'm not sexist. On the other hand, I do think it's kind of an oddball decision to send two women out to try to make the last stand against these armies of Liu Bei. Zhao Kang was not able to employ Chang Gong Ying. So we'll just have to wait until after Ma Tang's no longer his own force. Which will be happening very soon. Yorg. We shouldn't have been hit here, but we were. Go figure. There we go. Yeah, boy, Sun Wukong is gonna monkey around and stuff. Don't know who he is, but don't 
don't want him captured. He's got Wuwan ties. He's just some dude, but he's got he's West Officer of Defense. He has a title. Some of these units are getting pretty freaking weak that are still attacking us though. Let's see here we got These guys by themselves outnumber uh, Mr. Serious. Let's take out Luigi under Facky. We captured Gen Chi! This is another one of those officers who will never join us because she's married to Cao P. Do we want to execute Gen Chi, though? Betray my husband. I'll never be able to show my face to him again. Well, that's not a problem. We'll cut your face off. My love, forgive me for deserting you. Don't worry, he was gonna kill you anyway. Alright, we just killed Gen G, folks. I hope he can forgive me. I wanted to prove that I'm willing to execute female way officers who will never join us just as well as I can execute male way officers. So, like, yeah, if I capture you, there's no chance we'll ever get you to join us. Uh, yeah, you're getting the axe, I'm afraid. She was married to Tao Pi. Maybe that was a hasty decision. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe that was dishonorable. But, um... Yeah, she was actually a real pain in the ass early on. Before we finally gave up and got out of Jin Yi, she was one of the generals who was, like, really actually pressuring us a lot. And, uh, in this case, she was supporting Luigi Underfaki, who will have to live with the guilt of the fact that he could not protect the beautiful Jin Yi. After me, men. Kick the ass. There's a Ji Hao Ba again. These guys are probably harassing my towers. Yep. I love how the hit points of this thing have been restored now by the fact that wave forces have taken over. Fire! into the port, see what that does. Nothing. Here I go! Not bad, not bad at all. Liu Bei, in this land today, there is but one true super badass naval hero. Can you name him? Arr! Yes, I can! Arr! Did I already do something with this guy up here? Yeah. Alright, let's start developing the city. There's survival in the city. We need it from day to day. Okay, we got 11 more facilities to build. Crap. But I just don't trust the computer to do this right. Although, then again, the computer might be in their uh, towns that they're actually running. I might want to do a quick tour, make sure that they're not actually um, tearing down the facilities I built and rebuilding them in strange computer configurations. Let's take a second and do that, actually. Yunnan, for example. No? Four farms and a granary? Looks like they're pretty much stuck with what I had built. They haven't been tearing stuff down and building a new funky ways. This is Chengdu, and it's... Uh, looks like the way I left it. So yeah, I probably do want to build up these. Apologies for uh, the boring domestic videos, but I do want to go ahead and build this place up to um, my own specifications. So that when the computer is left to run things, it'll be, you know, taking care of itself, pretty much. Now here I could get, like, a mint and lots of markets, and I think that's what I'll do. I see. 
get a granary going here, also. Vulture Bobo Falshi and some other dude can work on this. So now I've got four more to build. I've already got two smiths, two barracks, or at least I got a smith on the way. I can also, if I get two two stables, that leave me three. Then two workshops leave me two, and I can build one more mint, one more, or one more market, one more farm. And this is like truly one of the best cities in China. And this is one of the in one of the scenarios. This is where the emperor is. Like Dongzhou, Dongzhou might have uh, ruled this city and had the emperor here. I don't remember exactly. Might be able to go hire uh, Zhang Liao, except that you're working on something else. And you can. He's got a loyalty of 100. Not even Guan Yu, who is his friend in the novel, is probably going to be able to hire him at this point. Although it's just, the idea is so awesome, I can't help but keep wanting to check. Liu Bei, like, personally undoes his bonds, like always happens in the book. Would that make a difference? Zhang Liao was fighting with Lu Bu when Lu Bu fell at White Gate Tower, or White Horse Tower, whatever the hell it was called. Um, Lu Bu was basically defeated by the forces of Cao Cao. Liu Bei was hanging around with Cao Cao at the time, but... It was basically Cao Cao's army that did it. That was the, the battles in that campaign where Ji Hao Dun lost his eye. Um, and Liu Bei... Well, there's this whole sequence where Lu Bu asks Liu Bei to put in a good word for him because Liu Bei kind of owed Lu Bu for something that happened earlier in the story that I won't bother to explain now. And like, legitimately, yeah, he did kind of save Liu Bei's uh, bacon at one point, but... Um, he also just been a real pain in the ass, and uh, when Cao Cao, he, when uh, Lu Bu was captured, he was trying to tell Cao Cao, "If you have me on your side, you will have nothing to fear. I will be a loyal lieutenant. I will toil for you like a dog or a horse, and together we will conquer the realm." And uh, Cao Cao ends up asking Liu Bei, "Hey, do you think I should hire Lu Bu?" And it's like a trick question. Cao Cao's too smart to. To think he can trust Lu Bu. But he asked the question anyway, just to see what will Liu Bei say? Will he try to trick me into doing something that he knows is going to do me harm? And Liu Bei tells Cao Cao not to trust Lu Bu because he also knows. Cao Cao already knows that you can't trust Lu Bu. And not to mention the fact that Cao Cao is smart enough, he could actually probably defend against and use Lu Bu instead of just being betrayed by him and not seeing it coming. So that's like an interesting little sidebar that I didn't mean to get into. But the point was, Zhang Liao is captured at the same time Lu Bu is. And when Lu Bu is like screaming for murder, like, you know, when Cao Cao's like, ha, huh, I will not let you into my forces. I will send you to be executed. Lu Bu's like, no, you can't do this. Oh my god, stop me. And Zhang Liao <coughs> goes, Lu Bu, be a man and die with honor. You know, like a badass. And Lu Bu gets executed. Then Cao Cao goes to Zhang Liao, who's like in bonds and ready to be executed, and he's like, Hey, we met once before, do you remember? And Zhang Liao says, Only to regret. Cao Cao says, Regret what? And Zhang Liao says, That we didn't burn out a traitor like you the last time we met. And Cao Cao's like, Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill you, Zhang Liao! And he goes to kill Zhang Liao. And Liu Bei and Guan Yu beg him to show mercy because Zhang Liao's a man of honor. So Cao Cao like removes Zhang Liao's bonds and leads him to the seat of honor at a banquet and gives him his own like personal coat that he's wearing and like you know and uh, Zhang Liao is like so moved by Cao Cao's generosity that he swears to join him and it's kind of like what the fuck man you were just saying that you're gonna be all badass and not join him but um eh, it's a Chinese thing 
Apparently it was like really inappropriate before Cao Cao made a show of acting humble. Uh, but once he had, it was like appropriate under Confucian virtue to join with Cao Cao. But only after he'd acted humble about it. Because, you know, I don't know. Anyway, that's the story of how he ended up fighting for Wei. And it seems unlikely that he's going to switch sides. Because he is like one of the highest ranking, most badass of the Wei officers. How much food is Liu Bei's unit got left? 90 days. Yeah, we can't keep him out indefinitely. But uh, that clash skill he's got is going to allow him... And if he could get down to here or here, he could knock those boats into each other and inflict some ke heavy casualties. It'd be pretty awesome. But while he's out there, I definitely want him just, like, fucking up Cao Cao's navy. Aim true! Come on, Cao Cao, why don't you get a boat come out here and mess with me? How about it? It's Liu Bei right here. I'm calling your punk ass out, Cao Cao. He's not coming. Cao Cao, I don't want none of this. Ignite arrows and fire. Yeah, I won't be using that uh, clash tactic now. There's nobody to knock him into. And uh, there's no point taking Hu Yang because I don't have an army mobilized and ready to attack Jin Yi. Which has like 20,000 troops. It ain't going down like just, you know, half ass attack. It's so tempting to try to finish these guys off with Mr. Sirius's unit, but he's gonna get himself killed if I don't get him out of there. There's like two different officers in here, and I could capture one of them if I know. I already captured and executed Gen G, which uh, I, I can't, you know, I don't know how people are going to react to that now, because this won't be posted for a while. But I just, like, I hope people don't react with shock and horror. People who are familiar with her from Dynasty Warriors know she's like one of the first attempts to sex up the game. I, I really like her. I think she's a really fun character in, in the games, but um, no, there's no way she was joining our forces. And we are supposed to be on this quest to punish Cao Cao and anyone who would support his treacherous faction. So yeah, I think not cutting off the head of the beautiful flute-playing chick would have been sexist. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Yep. 97 war. She wants a piece of leg Lego. I can't let that happen. Wait, I lost almost as many troops as they did. They're archers, and I attacked them at close range. <sighs> oh, well. If they do defeat this unit, it's all gonna be for naught. The city is gonna fall. You guys are probably all still occupied. Yep. Ooh, the order's at 89. I really should have, uh... I really should have pulled these guys up here to, to go to that city and help rebuild it, actually. the three guys who are here who aren't already doing something while well, there's only two of them. We'll move them up there to help out with the building efforts. A lot of captured dudes. A lot of captured dudes. See them escaping over the course of time, I'm sure. How's Jitong doing for order? They're doing fine. And they got a lot of food and a lot of gold. Once again, it's time to send a transport unit out of here.
Oh, and they're picking up more bows and spears and or pikes and stuff. Sean Young again. They get quite a few troops, actually. They probably can't. Ah, no. Okay. Let's uh, lose a few of these troops then. The thing is, Sean Young is only going to be able to hold 10, 100,000 troops. Really is once I've got a hundred thousand troops there. It really is going to be time to um, think about attacking Juan, which has like well, it's back up to thirty-eight thousand, but that's because its troops are being sent in from other cities. I don't want to pat myself too hard on the back just because I destroyed like one farm, a mint, a couple of markets. I didn't finish off these markets, it would have been cool, it would have meant I would have wiped out all of their markets. But no, I'm much happier about the capturing Zhang Liao thing, even though I don't really think I'm going to get to keep him in my force. As awesome as that would be. Well, alright, let's see. What can I send out here on the march? Send out a lot of pikes. Same unit that fucked up so much shit before could go out there for another round of kicking everybody's ass. Making sure that these guys get a chance to retreat safely. Leaving Zhang Liao, Zhang Liao back in prison. It's only two points of order, but I really want to keep order at 100. I think that may impact how well uh, Zhang Liao, how long Zhang Liao can be kept in prison. Because, as I probably mentioned before, I would really like to recruit that guy. Move some sword troops. Now let's get rid of some of those officers. I need both of them. I just want to move them over here so that this place doesn't fall prey to easy attack. And I can maybe transport him out of there with the gold later. And in the meantime, I can also have a um, unit. Sword settings. Wait, is there any point in... The um, only reason to come over here would be to take out food and gold. But there is like 8,000 gold there. But if I send somebody... Well, I better just... Maybe I'll send cavalry. That way, my odds of actually getting them back in time... I don't want to forget that I sent them. I have people telling me about it ten videos from now. Oh, you forgot about those guys. Because that kind of thing happens, and it does make me feel like kind of a jerk. Check out this epic, epic battle with Ma Tang's forces. As uh, Sun Wukong tries to. Who are you guys? Oh, that's Jing Tai and uh, Branded Elemental. Forgot about them for a moment. But this is the epic showdown where I hate you, Zhen, and Ma Yun Lu are trying to take out Sun Wukong and I think Shi Grimith and. Uh, Leg Lego. Oh, they've got prisoners with them. No wonder they want to take out that unit. It's got Pang Day. 
They want Pang Day back. They want their Pang Day back, Pang Day back, Pang Day back. They want their Pang Day back, Pang Day back, Pang Day back. They want their Pang Day. Pang Day is back. Oh, he's like, uh... As my brother pointed out, he's kind of like The Undertaker. He goes into battle carrying a coffin on his back and he swears, On you, one of us will end up in a coffin. This isn't going that well. I probably want to pull them out of here. Is there no one who will fight me? This will just get me some little points, that's all. This battle will not be decided by a duel. She, Grimoth, was really quite prepared to go out there and duel a woman, but, um, no, nope, it's not going to happen, unfortunately, for She, Grimoth. So sad for him. Now I just got to finish enough turns to get that freaking... Oh, man, I set myself up here. I was ready to end this video, but I've got to get this gold out of this gate now. Not gate, but, um... Like a you know troop station. That's it. nice. But I gotta get these guys in here and get that gold out. Seems like a waste of a turn, but it had to be done. It will be done. Antoro Aru. very soon unless you choose to join me once we capture you if you submit to my force you can still have a long and glorious fight against Tsao Tsao you just uh, gotta be prepared for the fact that you'll be working for me well now I can't decide am I speaking as JG Mystery or Liu Bei well we just took this uh, port back anyway so that's nice because it means they can't fire back. That's why if it seems like I'm wasting uh, will at this point. That's why I'm doing it. Now, you guys appear to be backing off. Yeah, Zhang Fei's badass motherfucking pike unit will do that to you, I suppose. Um, yeah, all right, so let's get you guys back in the city. In the city. And no point in recruiting troops because, uh, oh. these guys are bringing 30,000 troops? I just got done sending out a big freaking unit of troops. Well, maybe by the time they, these guys get there, by the time these guys get there with their 30,000 troops, I'll probably have, um, had another battle with Cao Cao. We've 
got to get ready for um, a showdown, folks. Shang Yang is going to be one of the main launching off points for the push to rescue the Emperor from Zhu Shang. That's 15,000 troops, not 150,000, don't be fooled. Sure looks impressive, though. He already acted on this turn. What about you guys? When it comes to soldiers... Uh, that's a wise statement you just made, Liu Kong. Truly, when it comes to soldiers... Uh, Alright, this video is going to go a little long because I'm trying to... Um, okay, Yi's transport has arrived at Changyong. What will you do? Order them back to Zhitong, I guess. Nan's leader is now 71. Transport heading out of Ling Ling. With this gun of Lux Guard, I should be able to escape without any trouble. Oh, come on, man. We were, like, ready to hire you and everything. What do you desire? No, that's Nobunaga. Pardon me, I'm thinking of some other game. Alright, so let's march you out of here with, um... Yeah. You... Horses... And all the food... All the gold... Yeah. The gold will drop to zero, but there's no troops there who need the gold, so it's fine. And now, for some reason, you can make it back in one turn. I don't know what to do about that, folks. I oh, might as well finish this turn, and then I'll quit. For this video and for this recording block, so... Wow, the war junks are out, see? This is why I need to have lots of ships, as opposed to just boats. They've got ships S, ships A, ships B. And they've got this city totally frickin' torched. Chi Hao Yuan is having a very bad fall. You guys, in the meantime, are... Yeah, still a little bit short on food, but... Well, they've got food. It lasts a while. It's just, uh... Is something that needs to be, uh... They need more of it sometimes. Every so often, they just decide they need more food. I need to get some more troops up there. Wow, we don't have a lot of food in this city anymore send all of this huge army units, I guess I should be not that surprised, but... What can we do about that? You don't have a great poll rating. We're not getting fantastic results from this, but... to do right now. Because so I want some troops in that facility so that it doesn't... What? Huang Zhang is going to do a transport? Seems like a pretty important... Win Ping! Seems like a pretty important character to be leading a transport unit. Win Ping's also a pretty important character. I don't have anything but important characters in the city who haven't already acted.
just go through some food pretty fast in this city, that's the problem. Now they've got 18,000 food. All my units, all my, no, I've got people here who haven't acted yet. Okay, so yeah, this city can, uh, can help out. Jiangling can help out Jiang whatever. This is the kind of choker who should be leading a transport unit. It's, uh... Well, we don't want to give away a ton of troops, but... Yeah, this should be helpful. Could probably give more, actually. Jiang Ling can back up Jiang Yang. It will be a boon to everyone. Apparently somebody hasn't moved yet. Probably Jing Tsai and her spunky little friend, Branded Elemental. And it just barely survives to inflict casualties on both units later. Great. But in the next turn or two, they'll be uh, attacking Montang's final city. Which may be enough to pull these guys off of... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you come from? Ma Chao is now out. Yeah, they, they just decided that they really want... Um, Pang Tong back, didn't they? Pang Day. Avoid direct combat. And yeah, these guys are. Damn, man. Xi, Grimoth, Sun Wukong, and Leg Lego. These are all created officers, and they're in real trouble at this point. I did not realize that when I broke off one detachment from the invasion force, force to take Wu Wei, that uh, Ma Tang was going to concentrate his entire army's efforts on stopping them. So they're going to get Peng Day back. Hopefully they will not end up executing any of those officers. But, um... Yeah, their single-minded determination to get Peng Day back might backfire on them. But uh, they could cost me dearly if they end up killing any of my officers in that group. They're all created officers. Uh, she Grimith, obviously, one of the, you know, Grimith is one of the biggest boosters this LP has. Uh, hasn't done a whole hell of a lot as a care as a, an in-game character. He's been in some battles. He's acquitted himself okay. Like Lego, we just got on our side, so that was one of the first officers we were able to hire away during the invasion of Montang's territories. And of course, um. Soon Wukong in there, uh, he's led a lot of great battles for us, and uh, although he was on the losing end of it, he was in one of the one of the coolest in-game duels where he fought Zhang Fei. So I'd hate to lose him at this point. He, all three of them, Leg Lego hasn't done much for us yet, but uh, he's new, whereas uh, the other two have both been great officers. I don't want to see them uh, taken down. Meanwhile, you guys, uh... Keep trying to employ people, I suppose. Doom Screamy could hire Zhang Hu. Could Doom Screamy hire, uh, Zhang Liao? <gasps> yes, she... No, of course she can't. That's a, that's a trick! When they put her pi picture there, you gotta read that text below. They kept her around from when she could hire somebody else. These are our guys that we could hire, so let's uh, get to work on that, because we've got to collect them all Chinese officers. I will aid Liu Bei in this conquest. Cao Cao doesn't like us anymore. We used to be 
take any ties. Those guys will just never, ever, ever join us. I recommend Kyoji for this. Where is Hyundai anyway? He is 30 units away along with Pang Day. They are both probably being held by that unit that's about to be destroyed, so forget it. broke out of prison. things stand. Soon Wukong, Shi, Grimith, and Leg Leg Ho are all in mortal peril, surrounded by the forces of Ma Yunlu, Ma Chao, and perhaps our deadliest foe. I'm talking, of course, about uh, Ahichu Jen. We've already murdered one beautiful young lady named Jen in this LP, so don't think that you're immune to that, I hate you, Jen, especially if you kill any of my officers. Your head will be on the chopping block. But hopefully we'll be able to get uh, this, this unit that's in trouble up here will get defeated in a way that doesn't cost anyone their lives, other than, of course, generic soldiers. But, you know, I'm talking about officers here. They get defeated and they escape. Pang Day and the other guy who were captured will be free again, but only for a few turns because An Ding is about to fall. And then hopefully we can maintain good relations with those officers, get them back on our force, and um, it'll be time at long last to really take the fight to Tsao Tsao. So, um,. We've all got, we've got that to look forward to, but uh, even for me, because I'm not necessarily sure when I'm going to next sit down and record this, we've got a bit of a cliffhanger, folks. What's going to happen to Shi Grimith, Sun Wukong, and Lake Lego? You're going to have to tune in next time to find out, folks. So, um, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And, uh, and I want you to call the number on the screen. Oh, I just accidentally switched over to the TV and some guy's trying to sell me legal services or something. But yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Tune in next time to find out what happens to those officers and what happens to China. See you then.